Hey guys, this is AJ Atomica, and I just wanted to make a video for all the NVIDIA users out there who might have, um, say, updated to the new driver version of the 344.48 that allows you to add DSR or dynamic super resolution uh, on Kepler or Fermi based GPUs. I think that's the 500 series and onward, if I remember correct. So, what is this and how can it help your gaming experience? If you don't know what DSR is, it allows you to run the game in a higher resolution than your monitor can output. NVIDIA have a video explaining this far better than I ever could and I will link that in the description and maybe on screen as well. For those of you who want to know how to actually turn this on and have a little play with it, how do you do that? it's not in any of the selections for uh, GeForce experience and if you go into any of the games it's not going to be automatically there to start with so what do you have to do in order to turn this feature on what you have to do is right click on your desktop and go to NVIDIA control panel it's the quickest way I know of getting to it once it's loaded up mine's already on the right one all you have to go is to manage 3D settings and find the DSR factors and smoothness in the drop down menu. When you first look at this it will most likely be off or not say anything. Mine is already on 1.2 times native. I mean my, my uh, for the games I'm playing my graphics card can't really output um, all that high resolution anyway. You can select all of these if you want. You don't have to only select one. So you can put them all in just select OK and then you can choose the smoothness factor from 0 all the way up to 100% just put 100% and then and then just click apply OK and that really is it that's all you need to do in order to turn on the DSR or dynamic super resolution for your NVIDIA GPU as long as it is enabled you won't have to check online for your particular GPU Hopefully you found this video helpful, leave a like if you liked it, leave a dislike if you disliked it and leave any comments on future how-to videos that you might want to see. Thanks guys, see you soon.